All right, everyone, so I made it into Homestead, Florida, just a little drive down from Miami, and we are in a dragon fruit grove right now. I got my son Ty with me as well, who is involved in this, and we're going to go pick some dragon fruit for the first time, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to try at least, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so this crop that is behind us it is not, uh, I would say, it's not ready to be picked yet. There's a couple items, uh, I would say, oh, not this one, I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, there's a couple that almost look like they're ready. If you look at this one right here, but it looks like this was already picked, so they're waiting for more to be uh, ready to be picked. But it's like, these are cactus, everyone. We're gonna go over to a field that is harvesting right now. So we're gonna show you how you get these picked or clipped off of the vine. So come join us. So did you notice you got fruit to pick and then you have fruit that is gonna come. I'm here with Jose Rogerio of Freshway Produce. We're in a Homestead, Florida dragon fruit grove, everybody. This is my first time, Jose. I'm just excited to be out here. Like, I, what am I looking at? I thought it was a vine. I thought I was gonna come off a tree. Like. I feel like I'm, I'm learning something now. What is this? Well, Pat, plain simple, this is like a cactus. So this plant in here, um, as you see... Literally a cactus. Yes, indeed. So you have probably in one pole, you have two to three that they come all the way up and they start developing branches. Okay, so within a year, the first year, year and a half, is whenever you're going to start having your first fruit uh, but then like on year three to four like this this guy in here will go and double their production so dragon fruits tend to increase their productivity with years okay got it just like yes. most fruits now again it looks like multiple spider legs on top of each other and then these beautiful fruits growing out of it so let's keep walking and uh, check out the harvest come on awesome. well, just wanted to show you um, the different stages of the fruit in a plant so in here you can tell that here's where everything starts like this dragon fruit will later uh, become a flower that if you see in here this is the next stage so you got this fruit in here that is just it's just developing this in here will end up falling and then it will become this guy and um, in here you got uh, probably two different colors of fruit all of them this one is ready for harvest and probably this one will be ready in two days Let's go ahead and get to the spot where they are picking the fruit. We're gonna learn how dragon fruit is picked uh, with clippers and then put into buckets. It's not traditionally picked into these huge bins and bags like you see other fruits. So uh, let's keep uh, riding through this field and find the pickers. All right, we're in the field with Freshway Produce. We got dragon fruit being loaded into the trailer right now as we speak, Jose. Um, so I gotta ask because I've never been out to a dragon fruit grove. One, this is not your typical picking. You're nope. you're not putting it in bins. They're they've got what five gallon Bucket. buckets yes. that they're clipping the fruit and then put it into the buckets and then putting it into this trailer. A little bit different than the traditional absolutely uh, what eight hundred pound bin, huh? <laughs> so not traditional, but it actually makes a lot of sense, man, because. All this fruit, the most important thing is to harvest it at the peak of ripeness, correct? Correct. But you want also to have a shelf life. So going through this process, these are cactus, so you got to be careful when, uh, when cutting it, correct? Yeah, it's a cactus. Absolutely. You can, uh, you can really hurt yourself. So, but the same thing with the fruit. So in order to kind of create a, a system, this is how growers do, and, uh, and it works. <laughs> Hey, 
everyone. We are literally, literally in a dragon fruit grove. I, I'm in the fruit. I'm, I'm getting poked a little bit by the cactus, Jose. So fair warning everybody that you can get poked by these, but this is what we were here for. This is what we, we came to see, right, Jose? Absolutely, absolutely. Being so close to to these beautiful fruits, so ornamental, so pretty. It's, it's amazing, Pat. It, you know, you say ornamental. Yes. Think about it. When you're putting ornaments on a Christmas tree, it's very delicately, so they show. Yes. Yes. These show, I mean, these show. Very, very cool. This is one thing that I have not seen. I said it earlier, it's like a, a spiders laying on top of each other with this beautiful, beautiful fruit, man. Yeah. And you know, I had a, someone asked me the other day when I told them I was coming down to Homestead, they said, what does dragon fruit even do for you? And I said, oh, Wait it's all it. about the gut. Yes, indeed. Yes, <laughs> indeed. I got a friend of mine that the same thing, he came to visit us and I said, please dude, don't go, just take two. You thank me later. Yep, Absolutely. very, very true, very true. So again, it's a cactus style, everyone. It's not your traditional, we, we've seen it being clipped. It's not ripped off the tree or the vine or what is a cactus technically called? I would say this is a branch. This is a, this is a cactus. This is a branch where you get all your fruit in them. And I don't know if I told you, but these branches, they keep growing and developing. So you can, you always need to be trimming. Trimming it. Yes. Little pruning, everybody. Absolutely. Little pruning, right? Can't forget about that. That's that's one of the, the hidden secrets. Is that you got to prune, you got to always have healthy branches mm. and they will generate more and more healthy fruit. You think we'll get in trouble if we uh, take one off? Hey, you know what? What do you think? I think that we should go for it. I this is, we, we gotta show the people what, what we came for. Listen, everyone, I brought my California fruit knife with me. <laughs> a um, produce knife Listen, it's part of a produce person, correct? Pat? This is what it is. I'm trying to figure out which one do you think? I mean, I saw this one over here. Yeah, this is probably good. Would be. we have to, do we, can we pluck it off? Do we have to, okay, let, here let we go. See if I can. The right way. If I can do the trick. So basically we'll go this way and we'll go this way. Okay. Perfect, so here, so it is. here we have a little bit of. This is great color. Look how fresh, how strong the, the leaves are. So when we got it, we can do this. It's like my banana days. And that's Woo! it. That's it to when I get more, more stuff. Like an orange, correct, Pat? Just like an orange. Fresh from the field. And I love it. Woo, man. Like I said, fresh from the field there. <laughs> All right, everyone, so we just came from the field. Now we're gonna look at how the, sort, the sizer and the sorter works before we head off to the Freshman Produce packing shed that will then pack these into clamshells. All right, produce people, have you seen this much dragon fruit before? This is the most dragon fruit I've ever seen. First time ever in a dragon fruit field. As you can see, this is it, everyone. This pink flesh piece of fruit it has white flesh inside. Some has pink flesh inside, but this is awesome. Thank you for visiting the Produce Industry Show. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and follow. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at The Produce Industry Podcast. We'll see you in the fields and on the horizon.